Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I've had a query by one of my subscribers, Chris, about the capabilities of the A1 Mini from Bamboo and whether it can print TPU and PETG. So I have a roll of TPU here, it's black roll, that it's just a generic brand. And I've got a cheap brand of PETG. This is the cheapest brand I could find. So I do have a Bamboo PETG coming, but it hasn't arrived yet. So we'll use the cheap one and see how that goes. Um, so that's going to be today, so let's see how that A1 goes. Okay, so the A1 has just finished printing its TPU. So, still on the board, it's printed out okay. Let's get down to the other camera. Okay guys, so you can see there's um, a little bit of string, it's not too bad. I haven't changed any of the settings, just the default TPU setting. Uh, generic TPU I picked. For this that came with the uh, profile so let's just pull her off oh it sticks pretty well oh, it sticks good all right cool so this is a squishy turtle that comes on the um, a1 already loaded so you can see TPU and it's printed oh what are these little legs they've got little little springs in them that seem to work okay as you can see so they all printed out okay the print turned out quite good actually it's probably one of the better TPU ones that are printed straight off a of rate profile um, I did one on the um, on the P1P, and it's very stringy. The same filament, so good. Okay, so the next one I'll do a um, I'll do a benchy in TPU, and then we'll get on to the PET G, and I'll do I'll do the same thing in PET G. See how she goes. Okay. Okay, guys. So the benchy is finished. It took somewhere between five and six minutes to do. I did the speed benchy that came. On the printer with TPU so I thought I'd give it a go see how it went and amazingly <laughs> it hasn't done too bad a job there's a bit of string in there that's what off the board now I can sort of just see the name on the bottom it's not not that good but but really the outside <laughs> is probably better than some PLA ones I've done on old printers but it's got a bit of stringing in the um oh, yeah, get the things out of the way. You can probably see a bit of string in the in the doorways there. At the front, there's a fair bit of string. Nothing you can't clean up, I might add. If you can see the string in there. On the top, you can see the ridges where they're meant to be. Let's have a look if I get some of this string in out. Yeah, I reckon you could clean this up and be alright. But anyway. Oh yeah, TPU, see? See, TPU, squish, squishy, I'll oh, squish it this way. Like so. It's a TPU, Benchy. Oh, that's amazing for uh, for TPU at such high speeds. And it was motoring. This thing is fast. This is my seven minute speed Benchy. printer is super fast but TPU is a go on the A1 so it's good now let's try PETG okay guys the PETG has just finished printing the benchy I did and it's looking really good okay so we'll go down the other camera okay so let's have a look as you can see there's no string at all in the um, in the door it's going to be the tops yeah looking okay enough focus um, anyway so the sides sides look good I 
the bottom. Yeah, the bottom you can read. So that's good. There's a little little bump of filament there that uh, it comes off. That's about it. Oh, just inside there. There's a little bit of a hiccup inside. I don't know if you can see it inside there. But apart from that, it's looking really good. So Pet G, Benchy, good. I'll do the uh, the squishy frog that won't be squishy, but it's the same print, so I'll do that in Pet G as well. Okay, so here's the uh, squishy turtley thing. So this printed out really nicely. See, no string in, no nut. Oh, there's a tiny little bit maybe there. What's that? Oh, it's a little pimple bit. Don't know. Nice, yeah. And then the bottom bit. I will say the little the little H clip thing is these little bits here. <laughs> it didn't it didn't stick that little H bit. So I've got little bits of it caught up in the other bit. So that's the H that didn't work. So that's just a um, a bed adhesion problem. So that that's okay. That that's a bit of the H that's sort of stuck on there, but. Come out okay, and the bottom bit with the springs in it. The springs. That one's okay. That one's working okay. That one's okay. So they all worked really good. So basically, the springs are so then the legs can go up and down like that. When the bit's on top, goes that way. So it looks all right. Still not sure what that little H thing's for. I'm sure it clips something in place. I don't know what it is. Though. I'll have to look. I'll look it up anyway. But still, Pet G prints really good. In the bottom, yeah, you can read the. I don't know if you can read the name on there. That's come out right. There's a little bit of uh, circling on the bottom, but I can see Jacob Stanton read very easily. So Pet G also works well. Okay, guys. So that's um, that's TPU and Pet G. Both print really good on the A1 printer. So question answered. <laughs> um, they're the main ones people use, I guess. PLA, of course, prints really well. Um, and I gather if I was to be using the Bamboo's Pet G and the Bamboo's TPU, it would be even better because then you could use their profile for their um, filament and it would be dialed in exactly for that filament. But this is just generic. I haven't changed any of the settings at all. Print them straight off the printer and use the generic TPU and the generic Pet G. Um, profiles that come um, on the bamboo slicer um, yeah really good anyway guys subscribe please <laughs> um, that would really help the channel out and if you like this video give us a thumbs up um, and I will see you on the next video okay guys see you later bye okay guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate your support you might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.